G'day everyone, hope you're all well. Alright, so this is a new release, as in just come out, but it's not a new kit. It's Academy's 172nd United States Navy PBM 5A Mariner. Now this is a mini craft tooling, and it was first tooled in 2013. Uh, and it's been boxed five times. So Minicraft done it three. Uh, uh, Academy Minicraft combination once, and this one Academy. Uh, this is the kind of kit. If you're into this plane, this aircraft, and you want it, get it because the last time it was out, I think, was 2017. So when, when it's gone, you won't you won't be seeing it again for a while, most likely, uh, and you can also get, I've had a quick squeeze on Hannett's, there is aftermarket available for this model, uh, you can get resin wheels, uh, there's a resin set of engines, and there's another one with engine cows, so I'm guessing, or maybe there's an issue with the shape or something, and you get mask sets. And there's a lot of uh, decal sets for it. You can see it's bloody big. <clears throat> no, I think I saw on the side of the box there is a mask. There you go, you get a mask set in it, so giddy up. No, I don't need. That. Don't need that. So we got uh, two looks going on here. Why, why, why? That's the later stage. That's the early stages. Alright. Uh, so your paint call outs, they've given you a Hombrol enamel and acrylic uh, guns or gunze in the aqueous and the lacquer mr color so mr hobby and mr color we've got life color uh, testers model master enamel acrylic ravel enamel acrylic vallejo model color model air and sun ak interactive so some of them are a bit lacking uh, your humble acrylic AK Interactive, which I'm not sure if that's the acrylic, the third gen, or uh, the uh, real colours. Uh, but yeah, Mr. Hobby and Mr. Colour, you got the full range there, so. But I'm biased because that's something I use a lot of. Alright, so straight up. Showing you the uh, marks set and where the position of all the pieces going, uh, then into your cockpit, uh, cockpit floor, put the instrument panel, uh, rudder pedals, uh, controllers, yokes, uh, all the instrumentation going in, radios, and every other electrical item. Uh, working on the fuselage hull, which is a boat. Uh, we got all the windows clear parts going in, uh, which is quite a lot. Uh, yeah, that's pretty. Oh, and your floors going in there, these side bits. Which are the uh, wheel wells when the wheel comes up, they sit in there. And then you're into the <coughs> uh, Bombay. <coughs> Excuse me, I would always get bloody horse throat when I'm doing this. Uh, let me close that, sorry. 
So your option closed open Bombay. Uh, oh, sorry, that's not your Bombay. That's a, what are we at here? Yes, it is. Sorry. Forgive me. I'm getting mixed up here because it's a flying boat, so the wheels are on the fuselage and the bombos are on the wing behind the engines. Uh, so when your wings together, I love the design of the wings on this thing. Uh, so saying don't cement your flaps and your aileron so you must be able to position them if that's your thing you know, not for me I'm going to build it and sit there and that's it uh, the stabilizers rear end so we got alignment so 90 degrees to the horizontal stabilizer but it's cambered up so you gotta just keep it square to the actual horizontal stabilizer. Right, 13, 14, so you got the uh, floats going on the wings and you're into the uh, engine uh, engine cows can be open or closed that is that one and then we go to here, propellers, uh, and then we have the turret, and all right, you got the front wheels. You know, ski wheel, and then your yeah, uh, main wheels. So, whether you're having them up or extended, and then fitting all your turrets. So, this, there was three turrets, and your, uh, your canopy glass, and engines going on. Uh, so there's an option on the top of the fuselage there for which antenna. So I guess check your reference to the one you're building because the aftermarket ones may be, uh, could be a different configuration on that piece of it uh, so this is uh, 1945 this one uh, US Navy not saying where it was based or yeah, so this is post the war 1947 so Same scheme, but it looks a bit just different. Number. There's your sprue uh, layout. You can't. Um, you're not going to see that, but as you saw in the instructions, showed it better. There's a heck of a lot of masks there. Right. Uh, your decals, not all happening. Yay! No stencil data. Uh, I definitely want to build this, but I can't say when. I've got that much going on at the moment, but if I were to do it, I would most likely do it and get a set of uh, Australian markings for it, and that would probably be the way I go. I, do you like seeing aircraft in Australian markings? Okay, 
there. Right. That's really nice. Even all the, uh, the porthole windows are all nice and clear. Some of those other ones I've done lately have been a bit ordinary, but this is really nice and clear. Beautiful. Uh, my photos at the end, I'll get some better shots so you can see how yeah, clear they are. So I'd actually be inclined to use them instead of just using the uh, crystal clear effect. But I'd see how they sit in there first, how they, uh, they're a good fit. <clears throat> if they're not a good fit, then I'd do crystal clear. So I've got two of the same here, you got your rudder, propellers, and your engine, uh, control surface on the back. So the other one, it's the same. So it's a decent size. That's for sure. All right, we got some loose parts happening here. Oh, we got, we got the, the nose gear. Yeah. Sit that over there so I don't lose it. Uh, I got part of the wing by the looks of it. Alright, so there's no uh, rivet detail, but you got recessed panel lines. Uh, you got ejection pin marks inside, but you're not really. I guess you could see through those windows if you got up close and looked through, so you might want to clean them up, get rid of them. I'll go this way, I think. Again, I'll take photos, so. All the uh, access panels have got rivets in them, which a lot of manufacturers do that, which I don't know. They can do that, but why don't they put the rivets on the rest of the model cost, I guess. There's no, I haven't seen a flash or anything. Uh, yeah, instrument panel, which probably won't, you know, do in mind. Probably be hard to see once it's in. So I don't think I saw an aftermarket cockpit set for it. Again, all those access panels have got the rivets in them and there's a heap of them. Especially on there. On the back. Uh, 
control surfaces. It does look very nice though. Uh, ailerons. So you got a heap of little panels there again. Then that is the last sprue. So there you go. Yes. Beautiful, beautiful aircraft. I love flying boats, along with many others, I would assume. So yeah, definitely something to add to the build this, but it's just a matter of when. But yeah, I'd be doing some aftermarket on this one. Like I said, the Australian decals and maybe the engines and the cows, maybe. I don't know if there's a issue with the kit ones as in the shape or something all right gonna add some still pictures now thank you for watching <laughs>